What is up guys, it's Troy with another Osmo Action 4 video and today I've just popped down to Compton Verney for their food festival. I got me a bougie little cocktail and I just wanted to do a couple of little outdoor tests with the Osmo Action 4 and today we're testing it out just in the auto mode, so basically in the non-pro settings um, and I just wanted to see you know, how does it handle the colour? How does it handle exposure when I'm in different areas? But I thought if there's enough to make a video, I'll just put it all together and then I'll upload it so you can see the footage and see what it looks like. So as for the resolution, I've got it set to 4K 25 frames per second, but I'm using 4x3 and I've got it set to standard D warp for when I'm walking around. And I have then got it set to wide or ultra wide for the B-roll shots. And I'll be running that at 4K 50 frames per second. So the reason that I've decided to use the 4x3 resolution is it allows me to crop it in a little bit as in like up and down and set it at how I want on a 16 by 9 timeline which means I don't really need to worry about where I am in the image. If I go up a little bit I can put myself back into frame. If I go there I can put myself back into frame and that's why I've kind of been leaning towards a little bit more shooting 4x3 on the Osmo Action 4 because um, it just allows me that flexibility afterwards versus the 16x9 is it basically crop into it and that's it but being able to move it like horizontally vertically I don't know I'm probably getting it all wrong now because of the amount of food and alcohol that I've had but that's why I've been shooting in 4x3 and the microphone I'm using is the Sennheiser MKE 200 why these lovely people pull me across the water. The non-pro version doesn't allow any exposure, but it does allow you to set custom um, sharpness and um, noise reduction. But because I wanted to keep it to simple settings today, I've just got it set to portrait, making sure that I'm holding it at least 40 centimeters away from my face, so I'm in focus. And this is what it looks like on the portrait mode. And then I'm just gonna turn around to see how it does the exposure, how it handles me when I'm not facing directly into the light. Oh my God, these bar buttons are so good. Now as for electronic image stabilization priority in low light, I do have that turned on. The thing is with Rocksteady, it's gonna need at least a shutter speed of 200. So when it gets darker, I would rather it bump the ISO up um, and keep my shutter speed going so I'm still getting stabilization. I'd rather it looking maybe a little bit more grainy or a little bit more noise in the image and just have good stabilization when I'm using Rocksteady. Anyway, there's just a quick video on the Osmo Action 4 on the pretty much standard picture profile with a couple of tweaks, um, no advanced settings on it. What did you think? What did you think of the colors? What did you think of the picture? How was the exposure? Um, let me know, let me know in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe and I'll be back with some more content very soon.